Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, we have this book, Arushan Song of Death, book 2 to a Pandava novel, book 2 of the series. And, and it's by Roshani Chakshi, like always. The main characters are Arusha, the daughter of Indra, the god of thunder, and the king of the heavens. And Mini, the daughter of death. Of the death god. I mean, not actual death. That would be super weird. And Bright, a new character who has been introduced in this book. This third pan of his sister, who, who can summon the wind. By the way, she's the daughter of the Lord of the Wind, so that makes a lot of sense. And an extra agent who is very good at sword fighting and is a good friend to them all. And uh, I think their weapons are really cool. For example, Arusha has a lightning bolt named Vadra. And another mini has, has a staff named Dee Dee that she can use to create shields, illusions, and so on. And Bright, she has a mace, and every time she swings it, the wind will come to her aid. I mean, that's pretty cool weapons if you ask me. And Aiden, who the not Padova, she, he can use his scimitars. See? See? Super cool, super cool. I mean, who doesn't like these scimitars? They're old Indian weapons, nice in battle. And Aru when Arusha charges the scimitars with lightning, they're super cool. I mean, they're cooler than they already were. And also, Aiden has another weapon. It's called Shadow Fax. And it's a camera. You'll find out soon. So, this time, what are the gang up to? What are the pandas up to? Well, first of all, Arusha and Mini were training. And that day, when they went to the night bazaar, hundreds of zombies started to kill everyone! We Anyway, and whoever did this, she, whoever did this, it was a person who stole the bow and arrow of the, of the god of love. And they aren't playing Cupid. With the bow, the owner, the user can create heartless. Zombie-like people who da cannot feel emotions. The heartless can be can be controlled by the arrow of the bow, <coughs> and with an army of heartless, they are super powerful, and it is possible to topple the council of the gods. Well, they can't let anyone do that, so the bow is very well guarded. But thief is here, and that thief will do anything to get that bow. The thief is a shapeshifter, and and she, she or he turned into Arusha, then took the bow and ran away. And since the shapeshifter looked like Arusha, Arusha was wrongly blamed for the theft. And so Arusha and the pan of his sisters, and plus Aiden, they were tasked on finding the bow and arrow until the last 10 days. Well, it's pretty impossible, but they can make it. I mean, it's a book, and the pandavas, and all that cool stuff. They got great weapons. Together, they go on an epic quest. They must go to the ocean of milk. Why? Because they are the main quest thing. So they have to find the thieves soul song and using that soul song they first had to find the soul song and it's pretty deep inside some interdimensional places. Yeah, I know. Books are books. Anyway, interdimensional places and they if they know the thieves name when they say it in front of the soul song it will show what the location of the evil thief. And later on, it will be revealed that the thief is Sabaranka, the demon princess. Yeah, dramatic, right? And so, they need to fight. 
so they need to fight the evil Princess Branca. And they find out that Sabranka was shamed, wrongly shamed, and she wanted revenge against the gods. But a bad against a bad doesn't make a good. It doesn't justify her actions to make an army to topple the gods. So they need to stop her nothingless. Arush, so they go on an epic quest to find out the name of the thief, to use the soul song to find out the location, and finally when they find the location, which is the which is the Sea of Milk, they find out her, the thief's real plan to become completely immortal using the nectar of immortality. Could Arisha and her friends stop her? Stop her? I mean, you gotta read the book to know. Great book, guys! And you can expect Dragon Pearl next. And like always, Bookquester and the Bookquester. I'm waiting for this quartet to win. Three and four is left.